Phi Theta Kappa is a, an internationally recognized uh, honor society that has until very recently been the exclusive property of junior colleges and community colleges uh, across the nation and in some international locations as well. All right, so the first we heard about uh, maybe a change in Phi Theta Kappa's uh, direction internationally came after a group of administrators from Clinton traveled to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania last year and uh, attended a uh, very forward-thinking conference. And they met some folks from um, Waipu, Hawaii. Phi Theta Kappa had actually granted that small school a charter. They had uh, a significant amount of poverty, not a lot of educational opportunities or employment opportunities on that island. So they partnered with a local community college on the island to transform what their high school was doing. Once we heard about that, um, I just picked up the phone and called the international headquarters of Phi Theta Kappa, which happened to be located in Jackson, Mississippi, and um, just floated the idea of Clinton High School having a chapter. Since we are transitioning our focus to early college, career and technical education, we're really putting an emphasis uh, behind students getting certifications, getting college credits as they get their regular high school credentials, and leaving this place already at least one foot into whatever's next for them. As we have uh, 12 programs, uh, CTE programs here at the high school, career and technical education programs. Um, it is, career and technical education is like a department of the high school, just like we have departments with English and, and math and science. So we've been uh, extremely excited about finally having that here on campus at the high school since this, since this school was built back in 96. We've been on two separate campuses uh, and had to bus kids back and forth. And, and so now with having these brand new facilities, uh, state of the art facilities that uh, were, uh, you know, overwhelmingly supported uh, by our community. What, what we have, the programs that we have, uh, are all relevant. Uh, they're all relative to Mississippi, to central Mississippi. We have the same goal, I think, as every school does, of to trying to keep our kids here because we've got some phenomenal kids in Clinton and we want to keep them here. We want to keep them in the community and them to, you know, carry the torch. We have to take a long picture, a long game picture of what Clinton High School is able to do and what it's becoming. Uh, with the uh, passing of the bond issue a couple of years ago, uh, the community really uh, signaled that it was buying in to a new model of world-class education that Clinton High School is able to offer uh, by incorporating uh, career and technical education not as a parallel curriculum, not as a uh, a building over there somewhere, but to fully integrate career and technical education with our academic curriculum already in, established in this building was a signal that we are doing something new. So, you know, obviously decades ago, VOTEC was kind of considered that, uh, those programs, those skill-related programs, and there was a lot of different negative uh, connotations that was put on a VOTEC student. Um, we know today that these people are our plumbers, our electricians, our, our automotive specialists uh, and have very, very, very good uh, salaries and wages and uh, make major contributions uh, to their communities. And, uh, but for some reason, there was always a negative connotation with that. And so what's been really neat to see happen over the last uh, probably 20 years is, is like you talked about, that evolution of vocational education to career and technical education uh, because people are finally seeing the value that those programs offer. To be a Clinton High School student and get to go uh, to a uh, hospital and stand over the shoulder of a surgeon and have them explaining to you what they're doing, why they're doing it, how they're doing it, what's the expected outcome, that's, that's a profound impact on, on a kid. Uh, what we've tried to do over the last 20 years is really look at the programs that we do offer and figure out, okay, again, what's relevant to our kids, what's what's needed in our community, what's needed in this area, and so we've have kind of made some some program changes and things like that uh, again over the last you know 20 years, but we've seen that when we do that, you know, we're we're, we're expanding our opportunities for our kids because we're we're finding those things that kids are interested in. We have listened to the experts. 
we have seen the data and, and read the research of what works in education, and we have applied it in Clinton Public Schools, and it has transformed what we do. We are able to teach children more high school content earlier. We are able to help children master the high school material faster and at a deeper level now. So it only uh, serves then that we need to then move them on to what's next. So we have begun to pull down uh, that next level into our curriculum here, whether it is uh, what a student would learn in a uh, technical and vocational school where they're learning a trade and earning certifications that will get them into the workforce uh, or whether it's uh, with our dual credit partnerships with Heinz Community College and Mississippi College where we're pulling down the, the freshman and sophomore content of higher education into our building. We are able to accelerate the academic and vocational achievement of all of our students Yes, we are promoting um, uh, our uh, high-flying academic programs. We're celebrating the 30-plus club. Our AP program is flying. Now, with this expanded partnership with both Heinz and Mississippi College, we're able to um, almost double our dual credit offerings. With the advancement and integration of career and technical programs, we're able to increase the number of certifications and the quality of certifications that students are earning. So your question, what is the benefit? A student can walk these halls and can already have one foot in whatever their future is. They don't have to wait until they walk across the stage in that red cap and gown to say, now I can begin. They can walk these halls and be in the future today. Uh, we have a responsibility you know, here to um, prepare kids for jobs that don't even exist yet. And that's kind of an idea of what you're trying to accomplish with CTE. Um, one of the, the coolest things about the career and tech programs that we offer, the national certifications that we offer. And so kids are graduating from Clinton High School with national certifications in automotive, certifications in IT, certifications in engineering, in culinary arts, and they can plug directly into a, a, a good job 18 years old right out of high school, you know, and, uh, and so there's just a lot of benefit that the CTE brings in conjunction with what we're doing academically. Um, and that's what we're, we're, we're trying to accomplish down the road is even more of a merging of our academic and our CTE courses. So what does Phi Theta Kappa have to do with all that? This is a further motivation for those students to not only participate in those accelerated options, but to excel in them. It's one thing for us to offer dual credit or to offer certifications in CTE. It's another thing to offer both incentives and rewards for students who want to do it and do it with excellence. And so the children of Clinton will be able to leave this place ahead of students from other places, not only in academic achievement, but with Phi Theta Kappa's help with money to continue their education or their training. I was career and technical director um, from 2012 to 2017, 18, and it was during that time that we really started to see uh, a more of a focus from the State Department on giving kids real tangible credentials. And so when you do that, when, you, when you're earning a kid an ASC certification uh, in automotive, there are certain things that you've got to do to be able to earn that. You've got to have experience using certain tools. You've got to have experience doing certain diagnostics. When you have to do those types of things to earn the certification, and the certification is the end goal, then that's where you kind of see that curriculum start to change and you see those opportunities start to change because we've got to up the ante on our end and exposing kids to, to more opportunities, those that we call them the relevant real world opportunities, uh, exposing them to those so that they are prepared for those certifications, that's where you really start to see an impact of CTE. So after the president of uh, the International Phi Theta Kappa organization got on board, we initiated a series of meetings where um, we were able to demonstrate to the Phi Theta Kappa organization just how progressive we were being with our academic relationships 
and our career and technical relationships and were able to uh, craft a new way of thinking for Phi Theta Kappa. So we were granted a charter and uh, have been recognized now with that charter as the first uh, high school in the continental United States to have this designation as a Phi Theta Kappa chapter. We are no longer uh, just piggybacking off of Heinz or another community college that may receive our students. Now, uh, for the first time in the lower 48 states, a student can actually participate um, in the very prestigious Phi Theta Kappa organization while they're walking these halls. Um, one of the things that I think really drew Phi Theta Kappa to Clinton High School uh, over the course of our discussions is we talked about what we're doing career and tech-wise. Um, we we kind of laid out our five-year plan for them. They, they came at an opportune time where we had construction going on, and so uh, I think we were really able to sell them on how forward-thinking the Clinton Public School District always has been. Uh, it's a big deal because our students will have more opportunity to distinguish themselves from their peers when they leave this place. Uh, it's also an opportunity for the students to get real money. Phi Theta Kappa gives out big time scholarships to students uh, who are at the junior college level and will then transfer to a major four year university. And what we found was when we encourage our students to achieve and really work hard in dual credit programs or in our CTE programs, that they may leave this place and not go to junior college because they've already covered that ground. Well, if they do that, they're missing the opportunity to be a part of Phi Theta Kappa because they're missing junior college and going straight to a four-year university. So we wanted to fill in that gap where our students in this building were able to compete, and I think, win these big money scholarships so that they can leave here uh, and go on to a major university with money in hand to finish that bachelor's degree or to go to another um, certificate granting organization and have money in hand to get the next level of professional certification.